Hey guys, welcome back. I've got a video today that you might have seen before. This is a news clip of that very same incident where the sovereign citizen woman gets yanked out of her car and then her boyfriend comes to pick her up and he gets yanked out of his car too because he's got the same fake license plate she had. It's so stupid, I don't know why these people keep doing this. Anyway, let's check out the news article first. To new details on an arrest that's going viral, Sunny Isles Beach police zeroing in on a luxury car with counterfeit diplomatic plates. We've learned it may be tied to the sovereign citizen movement. Local 10 crime specialist Bridget Matter is live with more on these bizarre run-ins. Bridget. So we spoke to an expert with the Anti-Defamation League. He says the sovereign citizens movement has gained traction in the U.S. in the last few years. Sorry, darling, it's been around a lot longer than that. Get it right, get it right. And police have seen many bizarre traffic stops like the one we're showing you today. Step out of the car. no jurisdiction over you. She is not a United States citizen. This Sunny Isles Beach traffic stop made the rounds on social media when officers forcibly removed 32-year-old Cecilia Mercado from her car when police say she wouldn't comply. What you're looking at right now is exactly why it went around on social media. Look at how she's dressed. Of course people are going to do it. They're going to do a video on it by crying out loud. What are you, crazy? The person yelling to police that she's not a U.S. citizen is her boyfriend. Mercado wound up in jail for having what police say are fake diplomatic plates on her car. We asked Mercado about claims she has diplomatic immunity. We were met with several different answers regarding her citizenship status. I'm a non-U.S. citizen and I'm a non-resident alien and I have rights as, as a United States national. I'm a foreign national. I'm an American state national. For the love of God, make up your mind to what you are. This just goes to show you that beauty does not beget brain power. Definitely not. Mark Pitcavage with the Center on Extremism at the Anti-Defamation League says Mercado and her boyfriend are using language that aligns with the sovereign citizen movement. Pitcavage says the greater Miami area is a hotbed for sovereign citizens. The movement is an extreme anti-government movement that emerged in the 1980s. Okay, so this video from the news station came out three days ago, and they said this has been a thing for two years, and now she's saying it started in 1980. She can't make up her mind either. And bogus license plates are the most common and visible thing people see. These are DOT number plates, okay? That's what they are. Mercado would not explain her claims of having diplomatic immunity and claims the tags are real. Now their driver, Andreas Lopez Escobar, was arrested for driving with another bogus tag. Stop the car! He's now being held on an immigration hold. I will appoint the public defender's office for you. Pitcavage says this movement has surged in the last four years and it's extremely dangerous for police officers conducting traffic stops. Stop resisting, Stop resisting. Well, I guess that state national didn't work out for him uh, since he's on deportation status now or something like that, immigration hold. He's obviously not a resident of this country or at least he convinced him he wasn't anyway. Anyway, let's find something else to harp on for a minute. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, I just found a good one in my dial downloader that uh, uh, Jeremiah Payne uploaded. He got picked up uh, walking down a highway. He's never heard that it was illegal to walk on a highway before. He's stupid. Anyway, let's watch the video. Where are you guys coming from? Does it matter? Yeah, it matters. You're on a uh, highway. You're not supposed to walk. You're not supposed to be on the highway. Where's the signs that says you can't walk on it? It's a, it's a law. It's a law? It's a law. You got a phone, you can Google it. It's a law. You really know that. We're just trying to cut our time in half. You, you guys have an ID on it. I don't have my. Have we committed a crime? Well, yeah, because we're walking down the highway. You're not supposed to be walking down. I mean, but it, where's the signs posted? You can hear that traffic in the background, right? Every state that I, I'm aware of, uh, walking down a major highway is against the law. You have to be either in a ve vehicle traveling down the road. You can't be walking down a major highway anywhere in the country. Unless I'm mistaken, unless there's a state where you can do that, I'm not aware of it. 
there's supposed to be something notifying you that you can't do it. So you're telling me, like used to be, you, you couldn't ride a motorcycle on it. There used to be signs saying no motorcycles allowed. Do you have ID on I don't have ID on me, no. Be gardener. Yes, you cannot walk. Yes, sir. On the highway. You won't ever do it again. You can't do it. Yes, sir. So we didn't I know can't it. Let you guys walk. So I'm gonna have to give you guys. Uh, I'm gonna have to give you guys a ride down. You can't finish walking no, it. No, sir. You cannot. You cannot. I'm not getting in a cop car. Yeah, this is the time to get all tough with the cop there, Jeremiah. You know you're gonna get in the car and take the ride. You know that for sure. I don't know why you're getting all puffed up and bowing up on him like you think you're going to do something. I can't let you walk. I'll get over in the grass. I can't let you walk. I'll get in the grass then. All right, what's your What's your ID number? That's the law. Says who? You're not supposed to ask for Social Security. The Social Security office will tell you you give that to no one. What is your Social Don't do it, Sam. The Social Security office will even tell you you don't give that to anybody, not even them. I know, but I would like this to go. He, he's got your name and birthday. That's all he needs. Your Social Security number can be given to an officer to secure your identity. It's well-established law, as far as I know. Anyway. So, so let me say, I'm her husband, so yeah. breaking the law right now, and I'm trying to give you guys a ride. We're adults. We can. Uh, he should have stopped this when he had the chance. Okay. That's that's what that's what saying. You're an adult. Well, and the NSA they don't stop anybody from hitting you guys. By the way. Your job ain't to protect me. My point. My job is to protect you. No, it ain't. So, my job is to protect you. The Supreme me. Court has already ruled protect you have no right? duty to protect me. Okay. Like I said, I'm not allowing you guys to walk away from me. He's not threatening to arrest you, Jeremiah. He's uh, threatening to give you a ride to a safe location down the road. But you want to play tough guy, which everybody knows you're a pussy. You guys, we go get a ride. Who you guys? Well, you know how to get this up? That's all we're walking. I'll give you guys a ride. I think that's off this highway. Yes, ma'am. Another thing, do me a favor. You can push the cart. I don't care. Everybody needs to be in the grass. Right right so you're not allowed to walk down the highways down here either. Then. Like I say, you cannot walk on the highway. So I'm asking a question. The highways down here, off the interstate, you're not allowed to walk on them then either, because this is considered a highway. So is that? However you want to, however you want to see fit. So we're not allowed to walk anywhere. It's illegal to walk in Gillisville, is what he's saying. Wow. I didn't say it. Yeah, you did. Whatever you want to see fit. Yeah, you did. is his name. What's your badge number? 440. 440. supposed to trespass if you can get me for trespassing by, let me talk if you can get me for trespassing well how come I've rode my bike down this many times and had other cops pass me and they didn't say a word that is real that is real I can't tell you why they didn't stop you stop you you can't ride a bicycle on the internet why not you can get ran over anywhere. I mean, but well, I mean, but the theory is these cars are going a lot faster than what they are on the other roads. Those are 55 miles. 20 miles different. Let's move ahead until they actually get into the police car because uh, Jeremiah was lying when he said he ain't getting in the back of no damn cop car. You watch. Get in the back seat of my car. You guys don't have anything illegal on you guys, do you? No, sir. 
Nope. 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 I'm trying not to break balls. Just leave that. Uh, let me dump the water out. I guess Jeremiah got uh, sick of running his gums and now he's jumping into the back of the police car, but he'll never do that. He'll never get in a dang cop car, not ever. Not unless uh, it's across his uh, deceased body. <laughs> I guess normally they don't try to make you comfortable. This is the first. I haven't ever been in a cop car, not being in trouble for. I mean, I guess we're in trouble, but. This video is going to go so fucking viral. Well, you're right about that, too, uh, Jeremiah. 239 views in the last five hours. It's going to go right to the moon. It might even make 500 views before the end of the week. Good job. Congratulations. You're a genius. You can just pull it to the office. Yep, you don't need to know no, what we're in the office. We're getting out of the cop car. They're going to think that we're in trouble. They are in troublemakers. Oh man, now I got to get out of this bitch. This is a oh, yeah, I'll come around and help you. You know, Jeremiah's secret mission is uh, concluded. Uh, he got a ride back to the motel, shut his video off here before uh, anybody saw where he was living at because that's right where they took him right to the place amazing work there jeremiah you're such an idiot anyway hope y'all enjoyed the video see you on the next one have a beautiful day love y'all bye <laughs>